Oke, okay, good evening, my lecturers, my friends, who perhaps will watch my videos. Today, I want to make a video about evaluation about my previous teaching simulation. <clears throat> there will be in this video there will be five main part in which I will going to share or talk in this video. The first one is challenges in designing blended learning inst instruction. And then the second, what is my best practices have I implemented so far in my blended learning teaching simulation. The third is which areas to improve in my blended learning simulation, which I, yeah, I, I did previously <coughs> the fourth is did i have changed my learning design and the last would be my future my future plan for blended learning design okay without further ado let's start to the first part my challenges in designing my learning instruction is perhaps <coughs> probably like what may be experienced by most of the teacher or lecturers is that the the students the participant is probably a relatively very passive as as we know very passive and i have to deal with it like i'm using some kind of games like kahoot quizzes etc and then the other challenges is probably uh, when i teach there is insufficient what insufficient instrument perhaps like there's no powerpoint there's no projector maybe my students didn't have a smartphone to support their learning <coughs> in which is it is indeed become my what a challenge for me. So I have also adapted to my students as well. <coughs> and then the second is my best practices I have implemented. Uh, in my blended learning simulation, I actually make it a high impact in which making from the scratch, you know, making uh, the activities is not just mainly from the lectures or the teacher is talking all the way from the first minute until the last minute of meeting. But <coughs> yeah, in, in it using technology such, such as I use uh, YouTube for what for making an example the video i'm teaching in in my previous semester i teach a employee for coffee shop and i i choose a topic is topic how to handle a complaint for for the customers it also i i use the the topic to teach in my previous teaching simulation as well. <coughs> so I guess that <coughs> makes my my teaching experiences starting good enough. I mean, it is useful for them, especially when we teaching the real the real person, the real individual that really need those kind of materials to try to implement it to their real life, like <coughs> cashier or coffee employee. It also will be useful for restaurant employee, perhaps. And then my third point, it, as I was mentioned, is areas to improve in blended learning situation. <coughs> areas that I needed to improve perhaps is making what 
making the class is more active. I mean, not me as a teacher or the educator is talking all the way like I said before, but make them to be more engaged in the situation so they didn't get lost or perhaps even worse, they didn't know anything in my class because in my previous semester when I teach this uh, coffee employee, cafe employee is is still it remains still remains in online of course because you know uh, the pandemics etc. It's make it makes me a bit difficult to make them what to teach the on spot offline of course. So I decided to do some online course, but <coughs> the thing that I what I remember is that I talked too much from the the first minute of my meeting until the end, in which mean it's yeah it's good for me because I explain the materials I describe everything that they need but we don't know whether they pay attention or not whether they receive what we give to them they as the can be said students and we as an educator. <coughs> and in my previous my previous teaching simulation, which I did several weeks ago, it it shows that I indeed using a game, not like in my uh, teaching in coffee shop in previous semester, it proved a little bit just like a conventional class because I didn't use technology. I mean, I use technology like Zoom and YouTube, but it didn't really make them engage in the activity itself. <coughs> it's still relatively passive for the <coughs> students. In my previous learning simulation, I indeed using Padlet yeah. Yes, Padlet, if I'm not mistaken, to make them more engaged. I told them to work in pairs and then to make a dialogue because I told them to work in pairs, make a dialogue. I already provided the example in YouTube and I already explained the, <coughs> the material prior to the prior to the class. Previously, I mean. And <clears throat> yeah, I Im improve after that. It means uh, a bit improve, even though not really make them engage in the activity. And then my my fourth point is, did I have changed in my best learning design? Uh, I did change because in as I said before, I did using. Well, using Padlet. I actually wanted to put the what? Put the Kahoot and also the quizzes, but the, the the time is it's not I mean we have a time limitation in teaching so also in my previous during I teach the coffee shop employee is I have limitation because they have to go back to the go back to work so <clears throat> the the class is only perhaps an hour exactly like 56 55 minutes so i didn't have a what i didn't have the time i didn't have accommodation to accommodate to make them accommodate with the games with the quizzes with the kehood so uh i haven't I have improved a lot in previous, but in this my learning teaching simulation, I indeed improve why because I have it using Padlet as a platform for them to what to submit their work, <coughs> and after they submit their work, I told them to practice during the class. One has become an employee and the other one is customers. And then 
<coughs> the last. My future plan after understanding blended learning design. Actually, uh, blended learning is, uh, for me personally, is essentially, it's making uh, additional activity in which when we already create the lesson plan, it didn't, it didn't written there. Like in the class we have prepared, <coughs> such as the pre, pre meeting, like 10 minutes before or 20 minutes before, and then the main activity is like 70 or 80 minutes. And then after that, for the evaluation, it's relatively a small amount of time, like five minutes. It could be seven minutes. <coughs> and budget learning is help you, me as well, as a teacher, to make these students is more engaged, you know, especially when <coughs> this transition is uh, class is relatively still online. Uh, good for them if they indeed have an on site meeting, like we did. Uh, recently <coughs> in campus also in senior high school junior high school elementary school they indeed have implement offline meeting i mean on on site okay so the teacher itself already can observe their students whether they engage or not when, but when we talk about online class is difficult to what <laughs> to track the to track our students they probably having class and then they just go to sleep or perhaps they just <coughs> leave their laptops, leave their phones, leave their class instruments and then go out somewhere else or even worse, they sleep during the class. So blended learning is helping me to what? Creating like immediate activity that very required because the student is no is not engaged <coughs> it facilitated the teacher itself i see for, for me personally because like i said before if we talk about the medium impact is you already decide a lesson plan or pr probably a pp and then when when you go to the class and you teach everything goes both ways i mean everything is not just pretty straight the students will do what you want <coughs> like it will be very feasible when you have answer and question session when you try to ask your students is there any question or probably like masih ada pertanyaan dan lain-lain like etc the student is just so quiet and quiet and just say nothing it it indeed help helps me as a teacher to make them engage <coughs> especially when i use a game that they are interested in so that if in the game is there is a sense of what sense of competition it will it will be better because there will be the students that have highest ranking, ranking number one, number two, number three, etc. It makes them engage and they, yes, it's it's good for teaching, right? I guess. <coughs> it's good for teaching, it's good for themselves as a student because they have a sense of, because essentially uh, the score in the games is like uh, using assessment or test, even though most of the teachers and lecturers is did not use that tools or instruments as assessment or or test it's just to <coughs> to make them more be engaged and participated in the action in the class i mean i think i will be more using games when I, whenever i have very passive class especially those when I have a class with a very little amount of humans, I mean participants, and most of the students is not engaged and 
they understand to me. Also, especially when it's online, because we don't know what people do out there when online class. So I guess I will uh, relatively put uh, an advantage by using the game in my future development design. Okay. okay, I think that's all my uh, reflection today. I hope it will help you. Okay, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.